Michael, are you hiding? You are, Sarah. I wish my mum made stuff like this. Your mum would kill you if she saw you eating that. Thomas Wyatt? How dare you eat that rubbish? It'll rot your little toothy pegs. She says we need it more now. Now we've been invaded. She says toffee's what keeps you going. What do you mean by that, though? I don't know, really. I think it's because she remembers England after the last one. They had rationing and you couldn't get sweets at all. We couldn't even get sugar to make toffee with. So we've got to have it now. It's the principle. Your mum's as daft as you are, Sarah. Nutty slack. You don't have to have any. Thomas and I'll be quite happy without your big gob at the trough. Only joking, Sarah. I think your mum's fantastic, just like you. Yuck. Here, have some. Stick your jaws together quick. Did you hear the firing last night? Woke me up. I bet it did. Bet you nearly wet yourself. Did you call out for your mummy? I did. I got in bed with mine. Didn't I sound close? I was petrified. I didn't hear a thing. I slept like a log. I bet it wasn't that close anyway. You're wrong then, Cliverdick. My, my dad said it's very close now, and it's getting closer all the time. He said he was in two minds whether I was to come out to play or not. He said it could be dangerous. Dangerous? What's it, they're spoiler when it's out then? They're spoilers, rapists. They're soldiers, that's what they are. The enemy. And they'll be driven into the sea and have their throats cut if the Gurkhas get them. They're all dead men and they haven't got a chance. Thomas is lucky in one way though, Michael. You are though, Tom. Well, even if you're too strict, at least they tell you things. When I got in bed with mine last night, they just said not to worry. But they didn't say what about. I listened at the bedroom door. I heard them talking. What, in the middle of the night? Yeah, I got up and I heard the guns. I couldn't go in their room, though. It's not allowed. I heard them talking. Well, what did they say? My dad said there'd been some of them about. Young ones. Cons. Con something. Conscripts, I bet. Yeah, conscripts. What's that mean, Michael? It means they're not involuntarily means they've been forced to fight. Not like the Brits. They're fantastic. They're real soldiers. Professionals. Yes, don't go on and on. Go on, Tom, what else? He said some of these con things had got spit up from their army. He said they'd been found hiding over Foster's Landing Way. Farmer had found them hiding in the straw. That's where that Mr Gregory lives. He's a villain, my mum says. She says he's a hothead. There's a group of them. Well, what happened to them then? These soldiers. My dad said, he said, he said they killed him. Mr Gregory and the other hotheads, he said they killed him. I don't believe that, Thomas White. That's a great big story. Oh, come on, Sarah. They are the enemy. It's a lie. He made it up. No, no, I think I'm a... Yeah, think. It's a story you've made up. No, honestly. 
You're a little weed, you are, Thomas. I don't know why we bothered to play with you. You're just a little weed. Oh, Mike, I'm going to tell my mum. It's true, that's all. I didn't make it up. I'm not a weed. I'm going. Thomas. Tom, come back. Oh, you rotten pig, Michael. He's only a little boy. Patrol to base, patrol to base. I found enemy conscript. I found enemy conscript. What are your orders? Over. Patrol to base, patrol to base. I read you loud and clear. Search and destroy. I repeat, search and destroy. Roger and out. Sarah. He always gets at me now. I haven't done anything different, and I'm not a weed. I'm not any more than I was anyway. Don't worry about it, Thomas. He's just gone a bit nutty since this lot started, that's all. He loves it. He thinks he's a real soldier, like a grown-up. But he's not, though, is he? I mean, he's only a kid. He's only a few years older than me. Of course he's not a real soldier, Dumbo. He just fancies himself. That's why he wears that jacket and that silly hat. I mean, a real soldier wouldn't wear a bush hat, would he? Not in winter, it's daft. Yeah, the knife he's always brushing with an all. My mum says he's like a savage. And all this talk of Gurkhas and stuff. He wants to cut some throats, like on the films. She says he needs taking in hand. She says the war will be the ruination of him. Give him daft ideas. She says it's turned him into a bloodthirsty little devil. He finds me sometimes, Sarah. The mother of me dad. At least he tells you things, though. And your dad. And every time I ask mine about the war, they clamp up. They treat me like a kid. Tom, Tom, look at me. It wasn't really true, was it? What you said about those conscripts killing them. Tom, was it really, really <laughs> true? <laughs> I'm fed up with this war. It spoiled everything. Nothing's any fun no more. It's ruinated. Thomas, answer me. Hey, you two! I've got this great idea. We can find ourselves a soldier, an enemy. We'll search the area, all right? It's better than finding souvenirs. Come on, then! You know, that will harden up for the battle. That's important, that. Shut up, Michael. You're sick. Oh, my film that I did. You had me creeping up on it till I almost put my face right in the blood. Gonna tell my mum of you. Oh, 
dry up, Thomas. It's just a little weed. It's necessary training, this. We've got a job to do. We've got to play our part. Are you coming, then? Aren't you constable? Let's just get inside. In case of what, anyway? You've got stalking on the brain. In case we find one. In case there's a soldier hiding in there. You're bonkers, you are. What would a soldier be doing in here? Think. They said someone got separated off. Tom's dad said. Down at Foster's Landing. Oh, yes, you've changed your tune. He was a little liar then, wasn't he? I'm going to show my mum of him anyway. And I suppose you'll do like Mr Gregory's meant to have, will you? You divot. I suppose you'll out with your soppy knife and slit his throat. Nutcase. If I found one, I would. Of course I would. They're the enemy. The invaders. That word Tom said. Cons, cons. No, you fool rapists. Oh, yeah, and his boilers. Anyway, shut your mouth, the pair of you. 